who confessed to killing his girlfriend back in 2014, appeared in court today to face murder charges. Connor Scott's pleaded not guilty to the crime. Taylor Williams attended the hearing, and she joins us in the newsroom with the details. Taylor. Mike, it was a very emotional day in the courtroom for friends and family of Kaylin Whitaker. This was the first day they've seen Scott in almost four years. I, I hate the way that it happened, and I just hope he one day does feel some remorse because today in that courtroom you could tell he didn't at all. Connor Scott, emotionless, in and out of a Clark County, Illinois courtroom Monday, while friends and family of Kaylin Whitaker left comforting each other and holding on to memories. I rubbed it and rubbed it the whole time I was in there, <laughs> and it helped me, I think, today. Scott had been scheduled for a preliminary hearing on Monday. But he waived that right and entered a plea of not guilty. This just a week after walking into a Danville, Indiana police station and confessing to the shooting death of his then-girlfriend, Kaylin Whitaker, in 2014. The case was originally ruled a suicide until being declared a homicide about 10 months later. Scott is charged with two counts of first-degree murder and if convicted, he could face a minimum of 45 years in prison. We want to see justice for Kaylin, and it's, it's happening. This is progress. This is great progress today. With Scott behind bars, Kaylin's family and friends say they are turning their attention on sharing Kaylin's memory. She always wanted to put a bright smile on, smile your, face. on your face. She'd oh, yeah. find ways to do that. That was Kaylin. And I think that her friends would say the same thing. That's why she had so many friends, mm -hmm. because she was contagious. I mean, people just loved being around that girl. She was, she was an awesome, awesome, beautiful girl. Scott's court date is set for April 24th, with a jury trial set to start on May 14th. He currently sits in the Clark County Jail on a $1 million bond. Mike. Taylor, I understand that he also faces charges in Indiana. Will he appear in court? When will he appear in court for that charge? Yeah. Three weeks before he confessed to the mur Kalen's murder, the state took Scott's guns under the red flag law, now claiming he was a danger. That court date is set for Thursday, March 7th, which will go on as scheduled, though Scott will not be in attendance. All right. Thank you, Taylor, for that report.